when we are listening to a, 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 an audio file created by a, by AI, we try to find where the machine got it wrong. And, but when we are listening, we because we just want to listen, we don't really care. Welcome to Audio Branding, the hidden gem of marketing. Sound plays a more important role in human behavior and our decision-making than you may realize. In this podcast, I'll help you understand the art and science of sound so you can better influence others in business and your life. I'm your host, Jody Krangel. Let's delve a little deeper. This is the second part of my interview with Ron Jaworski. One of the things, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but one of the things that the Open Voice Network has been working on, and they're, um, I believe that they are financed or, or at least partially funded by Linux, um, they are working with voice actors and with um, uh, software engineers who are working in the area of synthetic voice in order to make a contract between the voice actors and the software engineers that is a win-win situation for everyone so that it protects both the voice actors and their voice their voice which is their own um, uh, intellectual property basically and then um, allows the software engineer and and that company to use the voice for a certain period of time in certain areas for certain projects etc and there's an agreement that happens between the two of them there so that contract has been vetted by lots of people in the open voice network and uh, i believe um i actually currently have a um agreement with a company called beyond words uh, beyondwords.io and myself and a colleague of mine Adam Lofbaum we've done a test to give them a voice work on the contract see where it will go and yeah I've been super impressed with the quality of the voice but I had to give them 2,000 utterances so 2,000 sentences or like little paragraphs or whatever um, and after doing that it, it all came out in one kind of vocal tone because you want to do something consistent over all that time. And uh, so getting the different emotions into the voice within a certain amount of utterances, you're going to have a different type of feel for the voice, I think, depending on how it's spoken, the emotion behind the words when you're doing this. But in any given emotion, it needs to be consistent. So. I'm assuming that over time you'll need less and less of these utterances to get a really good voice synthesis. So over time this will be easier to do. Right now it's a little harder. But like I know a colleague of mine, for instance, had to do 10,000 utterances to get her voice to sound as good. So this, and that was years ago. Wow. So it, the technology is getting really, really good. I mean, I, I have to commend the people doing this because it's it's coming along really fast but yeah the open voice network and and voice actors and software engineers all talking together is really important because I I would never say that the software engineers are deliberately going out to you know put one over on the voice actors or take their voices you know whatever I would never say that I would say that sometimes they don't think about the implications of their actions <laughs> And, and unfortunately, that I think that we all need to educate everyone so that we're all aware of what we're doing when we're creating these things. I think that, you know, the, your, your voice uh, should be, um, it should, you know, if, if I think about it, it should be some, some sort of a royalty. And that's, that's what we were working out, yeah. So that's, yeah. that sounds like the, the, the most uh, 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 relevant for this business case. A solution royalty same as a singer same as in uh, uh, you know a, anybody else that his voice is being heard uh, across the globe and and it's good to know and I think you know that um, a, a, I wasn't joking I think that you know a voice actors uh, that will be the commonly used uh, let's call it a, a TTS avatars will be a voice celebrities uh, it, it will happen. 
And, and in regards to the emotion, I think that again, you know, it's, uh, as you said, a few years ago, it took a, a 10,000 paragraph or pieces of content or pieces of, of, of sentences to be, uh, uh, to re- read out, to create a voice. And now it's 2,000. Um, I can say that, you know, in, in regards to the- Oh, it'll be less. It'll be less very soon. It will be definitely less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also for the emotion. So you it will record, I don't know, a hundred in a specific emotion, then another hundred in another emotion. And then later on, we'll just need to record five sentences and, and you know, the, the AI will know what to do rest. Yeah, totally. I I can so see where this is going. The the thing for voice actors is if their synthesized voice can do everything that they do, and still the intonations are a little off. We're still a little ways from actually not being able to tell the difference. But um but I think if I was to allow my voice to do commercials, for instance, which is where I make my bread and butter, or shortish corporate narrations, where there's a bit of emotion required. If I was to rec- record a voice that would replace me, then what am I doing? <laughs> I mean, that would that would be silly for me to do. So the agreement needs to be in place so that I record what's needed for specific applications, like reading articles off of major publishing websites, for instance. Like say, my voice was reading the New York Times article. Okay, I have no problem with that. I wouldn't be doing that anyway. <laughs> You know, um, so so we have to be very conscious of where this is being used, which is where the contract comes in, because then the software uh, company knows that they can use it for certain applications. The voice actor is protected that it's only being used in certain applications and everyone's happy. So, yeah, there's 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 a lot to talk about here, but it's it's a huge industry and it's only getting bigger. And I can see where uh a lot of this might lead and i think we have to be very careful on both ends <laughs> i agree i agree with you 100 percent. and i think that you know if uh, we have enough examples and on how how it can get to the wrong direction so we can definitely use those examples to understand how we need to build mm-hmm. uh, the ecosystem to do it right this time yeah so your vision ultimately for trinity audio what is that um, we believe that that basically any type of uh, textual content should have uh, an audio version of it, if if it's relevant to be consumed in an audio manner. Of course, if you have um, I don't know, a, a, a mathematics articles with tons of graph and tables, probably audio is not the solution you will go to. But uh, any any other type of content that can be consumed also in an audio form should have an a, an audio piece attached to it. And there will be large companies, unicorns, uh, that will uh, roll this space. And we want to be one of them. We want to create the largest audio AI library in the world and 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 you know and deliver relevant content to listeners uh, uh, whenever they want to consume it in a super easy manner. And of course, with all the um, the benefits of doing it on the go. You know, to have a full user experience, to uh, accommodate you from, from I don't know, from from your home to your office in your car with relevant content from across the globe. You know, it can be the news, it can be blogs of a, a people that you follow on, on on LinkedIn, and it can be with professional content that can, you know, whatever professional content you are consuming, and of course with I don't know, news about your favorite sports team or or I don't know whatever or you you what's or some gossip about what the Kardashians did again so so you know all all of that together <laughs> yeah that makes a lot of sense are you looking for ways to improve your company's or podcast's impact you'd be surprised how powerful the use of an intentional audio branding strategy can be want to know more i have a free downloadable pdf that gives you my five tips for implementing an intentional audio strategy at voiceoversandvocals.com slash audio dash branding dash strategy that location does ask to put you on a mailing list just to send you updates on when the new podcasts come out but if you really don't want to give your email out i understand just contact me directly my email is all over my website and i'll make sure you get that pdf without needing to sign up anywhere 
If you do sign up though, you also get access to a resources section called The Studio, where I have videos, white papers and PDFs, discounts from my guests, and snippets of audio from my guests that no one else gets to hear. So maybe it's worth your while. Totally up to you. And of course, if you're looking for voiceovers, you can get in touch with me about that too. Now, back to the podcast. What I'm getting here is that a large publisher like, say, the New York Times could have like a link at the top for an audio version of the article, but your Trinity Audio is much more personal and is on that person's personal devices in order to read to them what they're consuming. Is that the idea? The the idea is, is to... Um... Well, I would say it's into two levels. So the basic level is to give you the option to listen within the publication where you're at. So if you're in the New York Times, you press play, you listen to whatever article that you're consuming. And while you are, I don't know, on your way to the office, we'll continue giving you a relevant content within the New York Times that is relevant to the consumption behavior that you have. This is one option. The next level is, of course, once we'll be spread enough on a vast amount of publication, we can offer a, a, the end user a, 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 because we will meet we will meet him within the publication. We will meet him outside the publication, so we'll know what what he wants to consume. So if you come to a, a Trinity Audio app, for example, and we know that you are a, that you were born in Miami, you now live in New York, and you are a fan of the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> a, so we'll give you the the headlines for the Miami Herald, but we'll give you the relevant economical uh, article on on from the New York Times, and of course we'll tell you what's what's going on with the Chicago Bulls and if Michael Jordan is deciding to do it, <laughs> and or something. Like that. uh, that's that that's about that's about it. Yeah, I love how intuitive that is. That's that's fantastic. Uh, I wanted to ask you about case studies. Actually, have you used this for any any particular companies, and and how have they found it, or any particular people? So we actually um, we, we we're always doing some uh, uh, some tests and some case studies. So I, I think the best case study that uh, uh, we had was the uh, McClatchy Group that have uh, thirty different websites across the U.S. And they tested our solution. They were actually the large, first largest media outlet that decided to go a uh, full audio with us. And they tested it, and they saw that the the results were amazing. And they did an A/B test between users that were engaging with our solution versus users that are not. And this, they saw that the the bounce rate bounce rate to the website decreased with more than fifty percent. They saw that the the time se- the session time doubled. Uh, the amount of pages being viewed in one session also doubled. So all all the relevant KPIs that publishers love showed an a, 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 an increase that they actually amazed them as well. So that's that's one great indication. Another case study that we did we uh, we want to test out the um, um, the sen- sensitivity of the human ear mechanical voices and we gave to the employees in our company um, eight different voices and we asked them to listen to them and, and basically uh, mark them human or robotic that's basically it and from the eight uh, uh, audio files there were like um, four audio files that everybody said like 50 50 some of them said it was human some of them said it was machine there were two voices that everybody said it's machine but there were two voices that everybody said it's 100% human and uh, the one thing that none of them knew is that all the voices were uh, uh, mechanical voices. And the reason that we did that is we want to see how biased are we. And we are. When we are listening to a, 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 an audio file created by, a, by AI, we try to find where the machine got it wrong. And, but when we are listening because we just want to listen, we don't really care. And 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 I think that it's something that is even becoming more and more uh, the case nowadays as we are using more voice assistant, as we are listening to more AI audio uh, uh, sound, as we are uh, communicating with Alexa and Siri and Google. Um, the human ear is becoming more and more tolerant to mechanical voices on one hand, and the AI solution becoming much, much better than it was. 
uh, and it's just getting better and better. So I think it's, uh, we are not there, but we are close to, let's call it the AI TTS voice, human voice a singularity sure. point. Or, yeah. So, so to speak. <laughs> Where are you getting these voices from when you're, when you're putting them into your system? Are, you're not making them yourselves. You're, you're licensing them from someone else? No, we are, we are using all the uh, uh, the large uh, uh, TTS engines and some small one. Okay. Uh, we are, uh, I would say that we are uh, definitely in, in yeah, I, I want to say in love, but we do think that what probably the folks from AWS are doing is amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, from most of the testing that we are doing with our clients, they are get the highest scores. Uh, but I must say that also Microsoft that were behind really made a major leap in the in the last last year or so uh, okay. as well. Uh, and and Google has the most variety. Yes. Uh, so that's in the large one. But then you have a lot a lot of locals, uh, um, uh, companies that have their own unique sound and their own unique. Genre. There are some uh, advantages over there. There are also some obstacles over there, but yeah. Right. So, so it's interesting to see again. If I'm looking like four years ago to what we are seeing today, that that's amazing. But in in regards, I would say that the highest quality that we are seeing, at least for the time being, is definitely with the poly from AWS. Okay, great. And uh, where do you see this going in the future? Are you um, you're just trying to increase the voices you have? You're in trying to increase your uh, reach, I guess, by approaching more people with the possibility. Um, what else are you looking to do with this? So I think that what what we are seeing in um, so so definitely first of all, what we want to do is to have every publication across the globe using it. You know, if you're a news outlet <laughs> or, or or sports or find something like that. And and by the way, you know, for us, uh, for the time being, you know, and, and there are there is some. Uh, um, there are some competitors for us for the time being right now we just want to make it it, it doesn't necessarily be have to be Trinity audio you know it's other competitors it's also good because the awareness now we we are still in the marketing education part of the business yeah so that's that's the first thing the second thing I think is that and this is something that we are seeing in the past year maybe even more than that is that we see that you know we we are getting approached by brands organizations enterprise saying that okay we want to have an audio version of our newsletter we want to have an audio version of our blog we want to have an audio version uh, of our ebook so white paper and whatnot so we are getting approached more and more from that also a, a book publications are starting to using our solutions so it it is becoming a, not only a i don't know an article thing Okay, it's it's going across that and beyond that, um, so so this is where we're seeing. And then you know it's all about also the distribution. I want to consume it where it feels more natural, more easy easy for me at, at, for the time being. So we are also working a lot on, on the distribution to have it uh, have this content available across all other platforms, across all smart speakers. And that's another thing that we are uh, uh, pushing a lot, and, and 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 of course there is also uh, on top of that all all things that are related to the monetization of the content itself, uh, because as my, I have a good friend that says that when God created the internet, he meant that advertisement will be a major part of it. Uh, so so and and you that's know, what it keeps be a, it running. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, we give you free content, but we also advertise a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but it, but it's also uh, by the way we are seeing like how audio also like side note it's still monetization but let's talk about subscription for a second we do see um, that audio definitely helps with a, a creating of a, 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 a large subscription base a subscriber base also, sorry and and we do see that the consumption of audio among subscribers is is 10 times or in even more than that in regards uh, to the the user experience so i think that a publication that definitely care about their um their user experience and especially for those their subscribers have to use an audio solution you know because their subscribers are looking for it uh, we have one subscriber that we actually 
uh, excuse me, one publication that we compared the amount of uh, the, the, the engagement of, of users and we saw that 100 times more subscribers tend to use the audio solution versus non than the general population. So it definitely shows you that uh, when you have a user, when you have a reader, when you have a listener that is super engaged with your, uh, with your brand, give him an audio solution because it will in even increase their engagement even more. That's really interesting. Yeah. And uh, definitely something that I've observed myself just sort of uh, looking and interviewing people like yourself and, and talking with people about this. It's, yeah, very engaging and how we as humans relate to one another much more often, I think. So, yeah, it's a really exciting time to be doing this kind of thing. Definitely. <laughs> I know we're all dealing with a lot these days, so I really wanted to acknowledge those that have gone out of their way to leave an honest review of this podcast. Like Martha, who writes, Fave! Listening to this podcast really helped my company's audio branding. I love the two-part episode with Tom Emanson. They complemented each other well, too. Thanks, Martha. I really appreciate your comments, and I'm glad you enjoyed the show with Tom. That's one of my favorites, too. He was really great to talk to. And for those of you that are interested, you can also leave a voice review now off of the main podcast page. It's super simple and fun, and I'd love to hear what you think. Now, back to the show. I was going to ask you what you were working on now, but you kind of answered me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if there's anything else you want to add, uh, you know, by all means. I, I think that... Um... As, as you said, we are, we are in, in interesting times in regard to audio and it's, it's, it's a fruitful ground for innovation and for being creative. And, um, and I, I'm sure that you, same as me, I feel that as, as we grow and as we move forward, the, the, the group, the audio and voice group is, is getting larger and it's getting bigger. And the, the, at least for the time being, the fun part about it is it feels like it, this group is moving together forward. Uh, this is this is something that you know they are. Um, I can talk with a lot of my competitors, and and they are definitely. And, and the word frenemies are is, is is fine. Although we compete for the same uh, uh, partners, we still share ideas. We share uh, uh, problems. And, and I think that's the fun, a, 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 a lot of fun about it. And, and I would say that um, people that think about joining the voice and audio space now, now it's a great time uh, uh, to join, join the ride because it's going to be a hell of a ride. <laughs> this decade. It's going to be, it's going to be super fun yeah. and super creative and a lot of innovation is going to be into it. And, and, you know, it's, it's not even the tip of the iceberg. Uh, that is 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 out right yeah now. we're just getting started so yeah your industry sounds a lot like voice actors to me because we're a pretty close-knit community and we're all going after the same jobs but it's all you know it's all good we're all raising awareness <laughs> and uh and That's yeah right. every company is unique and every voice is unique and yeah it's a it's a good time to to be doing and in this space I agree. Yeah. So how can people get in touch with you if they'd like to learn more about you and your company? Uh, so, uh, of course, they can go to our website, which is uh, trinityaudio.ai. Uh, uh, they can reach out uh, to me on, on, on LinkedIn, which the best channel, which is Ron Jaworski, not the NFL player, the other one. Uh, and, uh, and of course, Twitter as well. Um, and, you know, just, Pop me a message, you know, and, 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 and let's talk. You know, I always love to talk about with other voice and audio enthusiasts. Uh, so it will be fun. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being on the show with me today, Ron. I really appreciate your time. And this was really educational. <laughs> Thank you very much. I super enjoyed it. I didn't, I, it went so by so fast. It did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Well, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for listening. And if you like what you heard, why not tell a friend about this podcast? It's available in all the usual locations. Until next time. Bye.